G'day tradies, my name's Jamie Gray and welcome to another BCM Tough Test and I'm very happy to bring you an awesome new product from Topcon. It's the RL H5A and it's the next generation in construction self-leveling lasers. So why don't we fire it up, we'll check it out. Something that's really important when using a laser on a construction site, it's got to be reliable, it's got to be consistent, and it's got to be really easy to set up and easy to use. So the uh, RL H5A ticks all of those boxes. It's self-leveling, and if it does get disrupted at any stage, uh, whilst you're in the procedure of doing any measurements, it will self-level automatically, which is a fantastic feature. If you do have the requirements to shoot some really long distances, the RL H5A can shoot a beam 400 metres, giving you an 800 meter diameter to pretty much cover even the largest of work sites. So when it comes to getting a pile of runs on the board at work, getting a lot of progress happening on site, you're going to love the RL H5A. It gets up to 60 hours with the provided rechargeable batteries, or if you want to swap them out for some D-sized batteries, you're going to get up to 100 hours on a full set of four D-sized batteries. That's going to keep the boss happy and you ahead of the game. You'd have to be a bit of a goose not to take care of a beautiful piece of kit like this, but it is great to know that the RL H5A has been built to the IP66 rating, which means any dust, torrential downpours that might come through, or light knocks or abuse, this thing's going to be more than able to cope with any of those accidental on-site abuses, but it's built really tough. You can feel the steadiness and the structure in the handles when you pick it up. It's definitely a top quality laser that's going to be more than capable of handling any worksite conditions. So obviously you can turn the beep on and off, which is great if you're working on a loud site or a quiet site for that matter, but um, I think this range here of about 10 metres is okay, but let's head down to the local park. I think we should be able to get at least three or 400 metres out down there to give this thing a really good test. All right, tradies, so this is how I see this one unfolding. Um, I've just got the drone coming over. I'm going to test the distance. We're at the back of uh, Warringah Rugby Club, home of the Narrabeen Tigers and the Warringah Rats. Played down here for about 18 years, awesome spot. But um, way, way, way over there on the other side, you've got the caravan park. So. I would suggest it's probably about maybe 300 metres, but um, I'm going to fly the drone to the other side now. We'll check out um, exactly what that distance is, and then I'll jump in the car, drive around uh, with the uh, receiver, and we'll see how easy or hard it is to pick up that distance. 293 metres, 300 metres, so you can see down here 430 metres. That's how far it is to where the car is going to be parked. So. Um, that might be a little bit above and beyond what the specs are for a 400 metre uh, straight shootout elevation. So we'll see how it goes, but um, we might have to creep back in a little bit, but that's going to be interesting. Alrighty guys, so there it is. I thought we weren't going to make it, but I didn't realise how much fall there was on these fields out here. But now we've gone up nice and high, it's picked it up absolutely no dramas. The lasers had absolutely no trouble reaching that distance. Really had to hold that pole up nice and high though to get... Uh, uh, there was a lot of fall across the field here, so once we went up nice and high, picked up the laser, no problems. But, uh, mate, what a great laser from Topcon. If you're in the construction game and you want a top quality, solidly built laser that's going to last on site, don't forget to check it out. The thunder's rolling in and it's about to absolutely pour down. So thanks so much for tuning in for another BCM Tough Test. Hope you guys love the laser from Topcon. I'm thoroughly impressed. Make sure you stay really safe on site and I'm going to get out of here before I get struck with lightning.